Let's make some beautiful fall decor with Dollar Tree and thrifted items. Keep watching. So we have some items here that we put together. First, we're going to take this little pumpkin with the 3D layering and pull off the little bow that was on there. It's a little raffia bow. I'm just taking my metal, um, my metal ruler to try to pick off that glue and then my sanding block. And those items also came from Dollar Tree. This is a thrifted sign. There's a Christmas sign on the back. We're going to use, there's a Christmas sign on the other side and we're going to use the blank back side as our front. So first off, I'm just going to stain this pumpkin. I've used some Waverly antique wax and watered that down. It makes a really good stain and it's not stinky and it's easy to clean up. Just using a facial wipe, dipping that in there, squeezing it out, and gonna go over all the parts of this pumpkin with this. Then I found these furniture scratch, I guess, correction pins at Dollar Tree also. They come in a three pack, so I'm just testing my colors here on the side to see which one I want to use. And this is trial and error. I've never done this before for crafting, but I wanted to give it a shot, so I was very nervous. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that the it was still damp from the stain that I had just put on it because I wanted to be able to blend those colors together. So I'm just taking the pen and marking on here. It's actually a marker. So I really didn't know what to expect. I'm kind of kind of worried here. Then I'm going to take the piece of cloth that still has some stain on it. And since everything is still damp, it helps those colors to blend together. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the other raised areas. There were moments when it kind of dried out or didn't want to evenly release the, the color from the marker. So that's why I was kind of scratching around on the side there. I don't mind, and it's not perfect, but I don't mind that it has that kind of watercolor look. Um, it really doesn't bother me. And the more you dip into that stain and um, kind of squeeze it out and just rub over that marker, it kind of blends that out a little bit. So it's not, all those lines aren't as noticeable. But since I'm kind of always going for the rustic farmhouse theme, it doesn't bother me that it doesn't look perfect. And that's one of those things that is important to me to convey on my channel is that my channel name is making it my own it's because I want to make something that makes me happy and it brings me joy and I want you guys to find the same inspiration when you watch my videos to know that things don't have to be perfect and they don't have to be the color scheme someone else likes and they don't have to be anything anybody else likes but you because it's your home and you want it to be unique to you okay so I'm taking the darkest marker here and I'm just coloring in the area where the stem is you can see some spots also where the adhesive, I guess, in the production of this pumpkin kind of bled over onto the wood and you, it's, it leaves some uneven spots. But again, that's okay. It's rustic. We can deal with that. All right, so now you want to let that pumpkin dry. I'm going to take this Krylon metallic copper spray paint and go outside and spray paint this harvest metal sign. All right, and while my harvest sign is drying, I'm going to take some of my Gorilla Glue and put it in my glue gun and make some rings around on here. I don't like to use too much glue because I like to take things apart. And if I want to use this plaque again for something else, I can easily pop that off without breaking anything or making too big of a, a mess. So I'm just going to press that down and I'm choosing my ribbons. You guys have got to forgive me because I am still trying to get used to camera angles and I don't have exactly the right type of tripod for this, so there's 
blurriness in some of my pictures it's kind of out of focus and I'm also doing some of these uh, projects out of frame and I apologize for that and I'm gonna try to make it up with lots and lots of content so that you'll be happy with me again but here I'm just making a simple bow there are lots of videos on YouTube on how to do this and I can certainly make a video on some simple bows if that's something you like, just let me know in the comments. Just making sure that the loops are the same size. And I measured the tail on that, that black down there is a um, the sticky part off of a wooden measuring tape or a measuring a ruler. Good grief, what am I saying? That I got from Dollar Tree and I just stuck it down there so it'd be easier to use. And I wanted to make sure my tails are even and that my bow loops are even. Then I'm going to add a little bit smaller, but the same style with the green ribbon right on top. Simple, simple, just two loop bow on both sides. The truck ribbon has two loops and two tails and the green ribbon has two loops and two tails. Sliding that around to make sure they're even. I'm not the best bow maker, but I think I can get by. Okay, so cutting that off. I use the pipe cleaner to put my bows together in the middle, and now I'm just going to dovetail the ends. It gives it a pretty look. And you can see I got up and fixed my camera angle and my focus is a little bit better. So there's my, oh, I used a zip tie, not a pipe cleaner. I'm gonna use my glue and put it, I know you can't see, but it's up there above where the steam is for the pumpkin. You can see up there for the corner. Now I wanna embellish this bow by putting in a couple of flowers and some greenery. You can use any color you want. You can use oranges if you want orange, you could use cream colors, you could even use red or no flowers at all. You could use berry picks, just whatever you like. I just shorten the stem there. I'm gonna add the greenery back to it with a little glue. And then some pretty leaves that match the pumpkins. I don't use a ton of glue, just a little. We want options. We wanna keep our options open here. So a little bit of glue will do that. All right, just get that all together and play with your bow so that it's not crunched down. Because in the process of putting on your flowers, it's gonna get smushed a little bit. But you just fluff it back out. It's real easy. There's wire in the ribbon, so it's, it's easy to fluff back up. You can make the tails longer on your bows if you like them longer or whatever floats your boat. Okay, so the harvest sign is dry and I'm just going to put that back down. I have some Gorilla Glue sticks now and um, I decided to use this instead of the gel that I've used before and it did fine it didn't dry too fast and I was able to move it around a little bit so I was comfortable with that and I just went underneath some of the thicker points because I don't want blebs of glue poking out everywhere I want it to look nice and finished and the spot was driving me crazy where the glue came off there so I went ahead and put a leaf on top of that by the stem to just cover that up and that is it I'm fluffing again all right so this is our completed wreath you can still use the back for something else um, I'd love for you to subscribe and come back and watch more I love fall it's my favorite season and I have lots more in store for you comment subscribe and like bye